Hello everybody and welcome back. I am here today to share two journals that I have made. Um, I have used this month's kit release, Pretty Grungy and Shabby Elegance. Uh, these are smaller kits than what I usually do. They're only 10 pages each um, and they make a traveller's note size journal. Um, I really love tra traveller note size journals so um, I really wanted to make a couple of kits that were that size. Um, like I said I did keep this smaller, I did keep it to 10 pages only because with it being August um, and the summer holidays I know lots of people don't have a lot of time because they're generally with families and things so I thought well just some smaller kits for smaller projects would be perfect. So I've actually made two journals um, and because this week in August I don't have any challenges for this final week. This week is kind of the catch up week. So if you are still trying to finish off the challenges from the previous weeks, you've got this week to do so and post it in the Facebook group. Also make sure that you use the hashtag, which I'll pop up on the screen. It will also be down below. If you just use the freebies in a project and you post it in the Facebook group with that hashtag, you get one entry into a giveaway drawing at the end of the month for every post that you make. If you have used perhaps a mix of the freebies and the paid kit, so if you've bought one of these and created something, again, use that hashtag, post it in the Facebook group, um, and for every post you will get two entries if you have purchased one or both of the kits. As I say, this week is just a finishing off week, so there are no freebies for this week, but I just wanted to show you um, what I have created with the kits uh, to hopefully give you a little bit of inspiration and perhaps just some ideas of how you could perhaps make a journal yourself using this Traveller Notebook size. Now, because Traveller's Notebook tends to be a little bit smaller, um, both of these are made from a paper bag like this one. Uh, so all I did was I opened up the bottom, pulled it all open, uh, took off the handles. Um, I even pulled out the sides just so I could make it as wide as possible. Um, and then I kind of folded it round to see the kind of size that I needed. I chopped anything off that I didn't um, and then just covered it in fabrics and papers, which I will show you. But yeah, this is all made from a paper bag, these journals. Um, so as I said, I've got two. This one is the pretty grungy kit this one is the shabby elegance kit so I'll show you the pretty grungy one first so I'll just pop this one to the side um, so one of the challenges was to make these paperclip dangles so I've got one of mine on the front here um, as I said I've covered the paper bag in uh, different fabrics I decided to do a kind of collage of different fabrics and sew around and then I've just got some dark sari silk that I thought would look nice as a closure. Uh, so I'm just going to take that off so that we can have a really good look at the cover. So it just comes straight off. It's not attached or anything. Um, this lace I have inked so it looks a little bit more grungy. Um, because the kit is called Pretty Grungy. Um, it does have florals uh, and bits of lace in there so I still wanted to keep it quite pretty but obviously it is supposed to be grungy so I have added some ink to this one um, and again while I've got some lace on here I've also got some darker colours as well uh, so I'll open this up so that you can see the full cover so you can see this is the whole of the lunch bag that I used uh, some of it has been folded over which I'll show you in just a moment uh, to create a little pocket um, but yeah just did a little bit of sewing on all of those pieces and then as I said, I've got that dangle on the front then as we open up I've used paper on the inside so while I've gone fabric on the outside I've gone paper on the inside and this whole traveler's notebook does actually slide out um, and then part of the lunch bag was folded over but it wasn't quite deep enough so I've kind of extended it with this fabric and I've just put um, a piece of thin card in here just to kind of make it a little bit more sturdy um, but it just creates a pocket and then all I do is the back page of the journal I just slide in there and that keeps the whole journal together inside this cover but I like that it's removable because it means that I can swap out uh, perhaps once I've filled this one I can create another one and tuck that in um, so I like the fact that it is removable so I'm just going to move the cover out of the way just so that I can show you the actual journal. 
so this was one of the challenges as well and i've just paper clipped it on the front so this is one of the layered tags so i've got lots of pockets here with different tags and bits and pieces in there's some note paper in there as well and on this side we've got a little pocket with a couple of tickets so that was my layered note um sorry my layered tags from one of the challenges i've got this cluster on the front i think this was actually gifted to me in happy mail actually um so but i thought the colors went perfectly so that's gone on the front cover uh, this is the same paper that I used um, on the inside of the journal cover. But I believe this was one of the freebies from week three, this page. So I'm just going to paper clip that back on there. Then as we open up, um, I've used a variety of different papers. So not just kit pages, I've used some other bits and pieces as well in here. Uh, so I've got this textured paper here. This is paper clipped on. Um, this is from the kit, so it's like um, a little file folder. And then on the inside, um, I've got some large washi tape, which is what this is on the inside. And then I've just sewn up the centre and I've got some little bits of paper in there that could be um, made notes on. And that just paper clips on there. Uh, then this is just um, a textured paper and I've also um, put some tape on here. This is tape I made. So this is just normal sellotape that I've then put ink and things on just to kind of make it look aged like that. So this is one of the pages from the kit. I did round the corners. I quite liked that look. Uh, but I love the kind of thinner pages. Like I said, I do like Traveller's Notebook size. We've got a pocket here with a tag all of the tags I've backed um, with a light cardstock I've made some tabs so this is the same material that um, is this one here for the back pocket so again just to tie it all together really so I've got a tab there um, this is just some paper that I had from a paper pad that I thought went really nicely I've used a lot of the little elements from the kit as well and I've got a punch that kind of makes that torn paper again You'll see a lot of this tape actually um, around and then again lots of words these ones were in one of the freebie pages uh, this is a pocket so i've got two of the tags here uh, but as well as being a pocket if you undo this paper clip this also folds out and folds out and you've got some journaling space there as well and then that pocket's there just behind but that folds in like that uh, then we've got this page I've done some um, a little bit wonky I cannot remember for the life of me I've recently watched a YouTube video of somebody who was showing how they use six by six papers and they put them in wonky like this and I thought well that's nice I, I like the quirkiness of that it's not just straight edges everything sort of facing the right way so um, yeah I really liked that idea so um, I have used that in this uh, I, like I said, I can't for the life of me remember who it was, but it was a recent video. And then I've got another pocket. Again, some pretty pink lace. And I chose this because I thought it went really nice with this page. So we've got all these lovely butterflies, one of the tabs from the kit. And then on this side, just a kind of scrappy notepad. Again, we've got a lined paper for writing. I haven't tried to over embellish these pages because a lot of them do have good writing spaces on. I like these ones because you've got the little pieces here. So I've just put a lot of the um, smaller decorative elements from the kit on each of the pages. Uh, so here again, these are all bits from uh, the kit. The, these kind of um, sentences though are from a freebie page, which you can find either in the Nonstop Paper Crafts Facebook group uh, in my album section or you can find them on my Kofi site so this here is part of or it was part of an envelope but I've just turned it into a little booklet so you've got some pages for journaling um, a bit of lace up the side this one's got um, a kind of tea stained index card adventure and then I've used some washi tape 
to kind of hold it in. Um, I really love this tape, washi tape's really nice. And then we come to the center and then I've just um, dangled some beads uh, off of my strings. This is the other side of that envelope. So I've just made a pocket out of it. So it's got one of the uh, tags in there. Um, again, you could write on here as well. So again, I've tried to keep it reasonably plain just so that there is lots of writing space. Another pocket with a tag, some more of that tape, another tab with that fabric. Uh, this is the other side of that patterned paper. So I've got a postcard which I've just sewn down the bottom onto this thinner strip and then inside there is some paper that you could make notes on. That just tucks in the back there. Uh, again, this is one of the wonky pages. Again, I've just done a little bit of collaging just to add a little bit of interest. Another tab from the kit. Uh, this one, I've done something similar. So uh, this is note paper that opens up and then I've sewn along the back edge of this piece just so that it's also a pocket. And then I've just got a thin strip there which can be journaled on. And again that's just paper clipped clothes um, but you have got this side where you could possibly do some journaling and then obviously here as well. The last pocket and then the last couple of pages. Another tab and then this was the first week challenge was to make a matchbook notebook so that's my notebook and that just tucks into the back like that. So that one was made with my pretty grungy kit um, and that goes inside this cover and it just slots in nicely like so. Okay so my next one this is made with the shabby elegance so it is essentially the same sort of thing so we've got this lovely ribbon but I've got different materials that I have collaged with so I'm just going to pull the ribbon off and then I can open this up and you can see how this looks. So again, I've just tried to pick things that are quite neutral because the kit is quite neutral. It has got little hints of colour. So there's pinks throughout here. We've obviously got the gold bits here as well. Um, you may not be able to see it on camera, but there is a slight sort of gold, um, sorry, not gold, but a floral pattern here. And I really loved that the edges were all worn like this. So I have kept those at the bottom. Um, and I did like how this edge was quite ruffled, which is why I've put the lace on the inside, not on the outside, because I did not want to cover that up. But the same again. Um, I've got one of my dangles from the challenge on the front. And then when you open up, it's lined with paper again. This was one of the freebie pages. And then I've done the same where I've created the pocket at the back. And you can see obviously where it overlaps from the front cover. So this is the shabby elegance one then. So it's very similar to the previous one. Things may be in a slightly different order or put together slightly differently, but essentially it's the same. Um, so a nice traveller's notebook side. We've got lots of tabs and dangles and things coming off the spine, um, not off the spine, off the pages. Um, I put this little cluster together. So I've got some book page, a button um, and this little applique bit. Then as we open up, this is where I've got my layered tag from the week two challenge. Uh, and I've got my little dangle on the tab there. Then I've got this road pa rose paper, which is again at an angle. Uh, in the last one, it was a file folder. This time it is an envelope. And again, I've just got some papers inside for journaling on. So that goes there. Actually, I'm just going to move that down slightly. Uh, then we've got this page, which I really love. I love that frame. Pocket with a tag. Again, I've used that fabric for tabs on this one as well. Um, beautiful floral paper. I've used a different edging because obviously this is um, shabby elegant, so it's more elegant. So I've used a different edge punch for this one. Oops, missed some pages. 
again I've just done similar things so this opens up but it's also a pocket for tags again the tags have all been backed with cardstock and I just pop that paper clip on the bottom to keep that closed again lined paper throughout I really love this with the florals um, again some scrapbook paper put in at an angle just for a bit of fun um, the last one had a postcard that I made into a pocket this one I've got this um, which is the same sort of thing so we've got a pocket here at the back with some paper in another pocket here lots of writing space uh, and again same with the envelope this one I've just done it slightly different so we've got these two pages here this folds out but it also opens out this way as well I did not do that with the other one um, so a little bit different again using the lace then we've got the note card in the middle again with some washi tape I use a different floral one for this one uh, but again we have got beads up the centre this is the other side of the envelope with the tag another pocket with a tag but I really enjoyed making these I actually could not stop uh, once I kind of got started and into the groove of these um, it was nice just getting out my um, decorative edge punches as well uh, but yeah really enjoyed putting these together as I said I do like this size so I definitely think I'll be making more this size so this opens up again we've got a tall piece there that can be journaled on some different papers in there another little tab and then again you've got the matchbook notebook in here as well so this one I used a heart doily which was really nice but that just gets tucked into the back of there Okay, so those are my two Traveller's Notebook size journals. As I said, I really love um, how these have come out. I love this size. Uh, this is definitely a size that I enjoy making. I really hope that you've seen something here that's inspired you and that you've enjoyed watching. If you are interested in purchasing either of the kits, I will have the links down below. Again, if you want to check out the freebies, they are on my Ko-fi page if you are not part of Facebook. But if you are in the Facebook group, Nonstop Paper Crafts, they are in the album section. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next crafty video. Bye for now.